welcome folks out on the boat again and I've taken a week off work in November to try and get some cod fishing in. Normally every year I have a really good week actually to be fair I've been lucky but this week on this year no not so good. I've, it's now Tuesday I've missed Monday and it's looking like it's pants all week so I've taken this opportunity there's a slight lull in the weather sort of thing and I wouldn't say it's a great lull to be fair it's a force four on the northwesterly so it's a bit up and down but it's bearable and I'm going to fish where I can and uh, hopefully I'm going to bag a cod. kit I'm using today is um, Pen Fathoms 30s, lever drags, crack and reel, absolutely love them, so much power in them and the drag is not that snaggy either which I really like and it's a quick flick up and down to set the drag as required. Rod wise I'm using the Soltex 7 foot 6 boat, 50 pound class and just a running ledger set up using Thermalink as my uh, running ledger, a couple of beads just to hang it off, stainless steel swivel, another Thermalink, 100 pound trace line with a single hook with a squid and lug wrap. Size 5 hook by the way. And uh, that's the basic setup really, isn't it really just that, basic. There's nothing point no point doing anything other than that really um, and as I said before I've gone away from the uh, panel setup going for single hook we just get so many congas and having a panel set up in my eyes it starts to get a little bit dangerous I think really because when you've got the eels they oh, just a nightmare they're spinning they're all over the place aren't they eels everyone knows that um, I think taking that panel hook off lessens the chance of hooking yourself, I think, to be fair. And, and to be fair, we always use single hooks on every other fish, don't we? So why not a single hook on a codfish? Anyway, that's it. We're fishing and it's doggers all the way at the moment. I've not shown you them and uh, hopefully we'll catch a few more different species. Oh, and eels as well. Don't forget the eels. Doggers and eels as normal. Um, I'll share a few of them if they get a little bit of decent size, but let's get to it, eh? Well, the boats have started, and you only know what that means, don't you? When they're dancing rod tips, as soon as you get it out, they're dancing. You know what I mean. These little beauties, that's not a bad size to be fair. That is not a bad size. Look at that. Oh, let's get it, yeah, let's get him sorted. That is not a bad size. I'm actually going to take that one because I do like a little bit of whiting. They've got some gnashes on them. The big ones, they've got some gnashes on You can see why they shred the bait instantly. They really do. But there we are. It's a bit better to stamp than normal here, to be fair. But uh, yeah, happy with that. One for tea as well. So it's nearly getting the dusk and both rods are banging. That's always the way, isn't it? I think the old whiting are going to start giving me some uh, grief in a minute. I think it's going to be a white in the chuck almost. It really is, but it's just a matter of fishing through it and uh, hopefully pick up 
one of those elusive cod but they are around a few people have had them so you just got to keep fishing through so let's see what's going to happen on this one then it's clearly got in the way like a good one so let's see what it is feels like a dogger for me this one there's certainly to weight to it oh yes there's some weight and what we got oh look at that a dogger hooked in the towels <laughs> god dear look at that hooked in the towel let's get him unhooked quick t-bar off side of the boat and he's away and no doubt the other one's dancing still get this one baited up and then we'll take the uh, the other one in I want to at least have one rod in the water, that's for sure. So bait wise, I'm just getting a sliver of squid. Get rid of the backbone, bit of lug. Getting the old baiting tool. Put them both in there. And get the old elastic, which is starting to run out actually, so I'm going to have to refill it. Check out my little uh, short video, how to uh, refill a Nova bait elastic device there we go elastic in up the bait definitely helps keep it on the hook a little bit longer with those pesky whiting because they do absolutely shred it so just literally feed it on Actually, that's not the best presentation, to be honest. You know, the, the lug's not quite been elasticated up. We'll just put a little bit more on there just to make sure we've got it and not it's going to get stripped out straight away. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Squeeze that all up. Nice, lovely cod bait, hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's get it out there. Just when you think it just ain't gonna happen tonight, the boat's tailed off, not even any biting, just a few congers here and there, and then boom, the uptider goes. Look what turns up. A lovely cod. Just when I was giving up complete hope it wasn't gonna happen. And I got a lovely codlin, just over the three pound. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant to see really nice and golden happy days it's given me my few jabs and you wouldn't believe now i'm all ready to get back stuck into it now let's get to it well i've just had that uh codlin and now this rod's going the tide is slackening down and i think the boats are starting to come on now and here we go oh I think I've lost it. Yeah. Let's move it down. See if it comes back. That's all giving me hope now. Right, let's reel this in anyway. Oh, well, it feels uh, there's quite a bit of weight there. There's obviously something on a dogger, maybe. It's pretty uh, easy, no fight, bit of weight. 
I suggest it is a dogger. There's a little bit of weed coming through now as well. Here it comes. There's a bit of weed on my actual knot, actually, my leader knot. And it is a dogfish. There we go. But we're starting to have a few fish starting to feed now. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Anyway, as you can see, a bit of weed there as well. Let's see if I can knock that off before I get it in. So, uh, the tide is about to turn. I'm swinging around and round and round as the wind's pushing me off, more so than the tide is. Um, I look like a bloody minion, don't I, with this bloody head torch on? What's that going on? I'll take this bloody thing off, it looks stupid. And uh, it's not been loads of bites tonight, actually, really. It's been steady bites, but not loads of bites. Um, I thought I was going to get played by Whiting, but not to be. Um, it's been steady, so it's been all right. It's been all right. I'm just hoping, where's the tide turns, that we just might get into a few more uh, cod, actually. That's what I'm after, but let's see what happens.